When it comes to thyroid testing, many doctors rely only on TSH to assess thyroid function. While TSH is important, it doesn't always tell the full story. If you have symptoms like fatigue, weight changes, hair thinning, mood swings, or cold intolerance, you need a full thyroid panel to get a complete picture. So what to test? You're going to include TSH because it measures how much your pituitary gland is signaling your thyroid to produce hormones. A high TSH usually indicates hypothyroidism, which is an underactive thyroid, and a low TSH suggests hyperthyroidism, an overactive thyroid. But TSH alone doesn't reveal how well your thyroid is working at the cellular level. You need to look at free T3. This is the active thyroid hormone your cells use for energy and metabolism. If free T3 is low, you may have hypothyroid symptoms even if TSH is normal. Free T4 is the storage form of thyroid hormone, which needs to be converted into free T3 for use. Low T4 suggests your thyroid isn't making enough hormones. Normal or high free T4 with low free T3 could mean you have a conversion issue. Many doctors also skip the following tests, but it's necessary for the full thyroid picture. Reverse T3. It's an inactive form of T3, but it blocks the active free T3 from doing its job. High reverse T3 can indicate stress, chronic illness, conversion issues. Thyroid antibodies. You want to check these for autoimmune thyroid diseases like Hashimoto's or Graves' disease. So even if TSH and T4 are normal, positive antibodies can mean your thyroid's under attack. So take action. If you have thyroid symptoms but normal TSH levels, don't settle for an incomplete test. Ask your doctor for a full panel, including free T3, free T4, reverse T3, and antibodies. If you've had thyroid testing done, what was your experience? Put it in the comments below, and we'd love to be a resource for you here at the Medicine Center Pharmacy.